breaking news overnight. Just a devastating scene in Minneapolis. Protesters upset over the death of an African-American man in police custody, ignoring calls for calm and instead escalating their anger, even setting fire to a police station. And in just the past few hours, President Trump weighed in on the violent situation. Mark Lehman is following this story and the overnight developments and all this. So, Mark, was anyone inside that police station at the time? Yeah, no one was inside. Luckily, the building was evacuated earlier in the night. That fire highlighting a situation that continues to spiral out of control during calls for justice. Video from above shows the Minneapolis police precinct burning as protesters surrounded the empty building. For three straight days, anger has been sweeping through the Twin Cities over the death of George Floyd on Monday. This is what happens. This is what is built up to this. Peaceful protests have demanded justice this week, but there's also been widespread looting and destruction. Something prompting tweets overnight from President Trump, one calling the mayor of Minneapolis weak, saying there's a lack of leadership in the city. Donald Trump knows nothing about the strength of Minneapolis. We are strong as hell. The outrage from protesters coming after video surfaced of Floyd being detained on suspicion of passing a phony $20 bill. The clip showing an officer kneeling on Floyd's neck for several minutes until he lost consciousness. The four police officers involved have been fired and are now the subject of investigations by the FBI and Justice Department. However, many say they want more immediate action. When we weren't setting fires and we weren't burning down buildings, all you said is just it, everything takes time. Well, the time's up. Now, during all of this, the Minnesota National Guard has activated 500 soldiers, and President Trump says he has spoken with the governor of Minnesota about the possibility of getting the military involved. Now, we are continuing, continuing to follow the unrest coming out of Minneapolis and uh, the developments. We will keep you updated with any new details we learn throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results News 6. Thank you, Mark. Meantime, breaking overnight in Kentucky, police say seven people were shot at another protest. This one for an African-American woman shot and killed by police in her apartment. Brianna Taylor died back in March while police were serving a drug-related search warrant involving someone else. Protesters are calling for the officers involved to be arrested. We're keeping a close watch on both of these violent scenes. We will let you know as soon as we get updates.